So uh, this truck is a 2010 uh, 2500 Chevy. It has the 6.0 liter gas engine in it. Um, the problem was is we had a really bad misfire. So when the um, check engine light starts flashing, it, it's telling you it indicates a misfire. <clears throat> so I started looking around with the engine running. I noticed I just stuck my hand down on the manifold and noticed that it was quite a bit cooler, almost cold. The other side was hot to the touch. And you know, I just run it for a couple minutes, a minute maybe. Um, so I got looking around. First thing I did was I popped this plug and right down here that feeds the lead harness to the coils. I took a test light and I hooked it instead of on the ground like you normally would. I just hooked it on the positive reverse so I could check the ground on this pin. Would stick it in there and you can see we got ground on the pin. But that was the problem. This this pin was lacking its ground. So the heat of the moment, I needed to get the truck going. So I actually spliced in, you know, I tested this one, it was dead. I spliced in a ground wire and hooked it right to here. That's where the battery grounds out. Um, so I just put an eyelet and then it ran fine. It wasn't but a day and uh, yet again, that whole cylinder, the whole bank was out. Uh, we had ground now and it was still out. So turned out whenever I would um, let's see if I can even see here. So we got the plug here. Whenever I would just kind of touch around on here, I'd wiggle this wire and it would run better and then it would go out. So I ended up replacing the lead harness. Um, upon visual, visual inspection, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. But um, I put in that new lead harness and it turns out it started running great. Uh, th that seemed to fix that side. So then I drove it about a week. And now, next thing I know is I lose this whole bank on the driver's side. So I was like, it, it mirrored exactly like that. So I right away popped that, popped that plug. Sure enough, it was missing ground. So that, was, that brought me to the conclusion that it had to have lost its main ground somewhere. So I did a little hunting, traced around, and down behind the power steering pump, you can hardly get to it. But sure enough, I found the ground wires uh, for both of those banks for the ground, and they were about ready to fall off. They were corroded. Um, so I ended up putting a connector, you can see down there, off of those two, they used to just go down and aisle it and ground out to the engine. And I just moved them right up to this ground port, which is feeding this battery. So no more ground issues. Um, so that worked and it, it, it did exactly the same thing. Every time I would just touch that wire, the thing would sputter and lose all four of those cylinders. I'm gonna swap it out and see see if that clears it up. Uh, I think it, I don't know if it had anything to do with the ground being out where it fried the harness, or if it's just really brittle. This truck has a lot of like just brittle wires. I mean, this protector is just falling apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that other uh, lead Harness. Okay, yeah, that was very easy. Really the hardest part was probably getting that little clip on that holds the plug.
If done, done, done. Okay, that's all of them. Not stumbling when I mess with the harness. So it looks like that's resolved. 